and welcome back to my channel this is your girl jessica and i'm so thrilled that you guys are watching me like right now okay so i really want to go ahead and just quickly do like uh, a monthly chat for february i haven't done one i think my last one was november so i'm kind of i'm not playing catch up i'm just picking up where i left off so this is the monthly chat for february and basically i just want to first of all show my face i'm still here guys I promise you i've just been so busy with my new business and trying to really pick that up off the ground so i wanted to come and just chat with you all real quickly to show you not show you well i probably will add in a couple clips here and there um if i do it will be sporadic it won't be at this moment because I gotta go <laughs> I got I got I really gotta go um so not right now but within the next hour or so so I wanted to talk to you guys about my business and based on the last video I showed you guys let me make a disclaimer please do not mind my nails hopefully they don't drag too much of your attention because like I said it's just been super busy I haven't gotten a chance to cater to me per se so as soon as things calm down, I'm going to get to doing, you know, things for myself. I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of the things that I have experienced with starting a new business. Now, it has been a lot and it is costly. I know there's tons of videos out there that say how to start a business with $500, how to start a business with a thousand or something like that. While that all may be true in some fields, starting your own planner starting your own stationary business is not cheap um, because you have to look at all of your overhead ink printer if you don't already have those things um, and, and I guess basic necessities to even start it and all the time and energy and research you'll have to put into who to buy from what to buy the only thing I can think of that can that can benefit is digital work or digital products. Um, on my Etsy shop, I do have, um, I believe, two items that are digital. That literally was started with literally no money, okay? Because I've already had my laptop and I just did, did it on, you know, Canva. I mean, that's what, 13 bucks a month? That... I can see those type of things falling in that category but um i my overhead i kept a uh, like a excel spreadsheet of literally everything i bought and i'll just share with you guys a few few of those things so before i jump into some of the things that i purchased on my excel spreadsheet just literally off the top of my head i wanted to let you guys know that i did take a uh class i took two classes i took one um, on how to and I took a business class like um, just to make sure that my documents and all those things are legit both of these ladies were found on YouTube like they were found on YouTube my advice is to if you can go outside of YouTube and Google and actually take a class that's not expensive because both of these classes were not expensive I literally paid under two hundred dollars together like both classes together so if you can go outside and get that experience on uh, maybe they'll share their vendor list I know that class the how-to class she did share her vendor list and I took some of the some I mean maybe one or two things and I implemented that into my business as far as like vendors and then some of that other stuff, you know, as far as products, I, you know, I had to go and outsource that and find that on Amazon or different vendors, or, you know, if you decide to print home or locally, um, it's all based up on you. So some of the things that I purchased off the top of my list, um, which was, I never had a printer. I never needed one because my work is on, on my computer. So I never needed a printer. But since, you know, God places on my heart, I decided to, of course, go ahead and get a printer. So I bought a printer and um, I bought a Cricut machine. I bought that, what is that thing called? Um, the Cinch. I bought the Cinch, the Cricut machine, a printer and paper. And I bought a laminator 
and I think those are like the like the top items oh and of course my printer is a laser printer it's a brother printer I do not recommend it don't get it like don't first and foremost it's just a lot of work um, as far as the maintenance um, this printer that I have you print my planners are pretty thick so I'm monthly spending well over $200 on ink you know and that's if I get like a lot of orders in that month um, I bought my website and you know that's the business side of things but I bought that the email and all those things that comes with that um, and uh, another thing was outsourcing paper paper was it wasn't difficult but it is a lot of testing that goes into play because now that inflation is pretty up there I am even researching other vendors um, better wholesaling prices because things are much higher so I'm really trying to keep cost very very low now going on to my Cricut I love my Cricut I do plan on probably getting two and that's only if I decide to add stickers to my uh, Christian stationery line I will I will end up getting two two of those I got the maker I, it's not the maker three not the latest one it's the one below it to me I mean I've seen videos like um, this versus that eh, same thing you know that one probably got a little bit more whatever you know I do pay $20 a month for their, I think it's called Access for Etsy to um, be able to, you know, use some of their things if I choose to. Um, and I'm still even contemplating on whether or not I need that because I buy my own fonts um, to use commercially. Like, I buy my own fonts. So um, I don't know if I need that. And that's something I may have to just do some further research about also I will say this when you're first starting off the uh, what is it the cinch when you're first starting off the cinch is great I I'm 50 50 with the cinch I've wasted so much products and you know what I'll show you I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so I don't I thought I had some that were already like binded but what i do is i pre-make all of them and stack 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 and then once once the order comes into play i just bind it so the um the thing i don't like about my cinch is and i don't know if it's me i've been trying to youtube over and over and over no one seems to have the same problem as me and if they do they're probably not talking about it but i'm gonna talk about it okay because Mm, okay so this is your wire o uh twin loop wire um what else people call it a spine you know because you know it does mimic um a spine right so i like to call them spines just because i don't know i'm i was in the medical field for a bit i don't know it's just spine okay so when i put it in it makes it let me let me go see if i grab one that Hold on. I have, I think, two. So this is how it normally looks, like before you bind it, right? This is how it looks. But when you, uh, when you bind it, and maybe you can see it right here, you probably really can't. It gives off that hump right here. It just gives off this stupid thing. Like when you clamp it together, this is how it does that. I don't know if that. If y'all can understand what I'm talking about, let me move this out the way. So y'all can literally see. And I've watched other YouTubers and I don't know if they don't show us up close and personally like how it looks after they bind it. But th this is not a O. This, this is not a O. So I literally wasted so much product on trying to make sure that my spines come out a perfect C. So when you bind it, when you look at it, you see, you know, just perfect circles. It is such a hard thing. So 
guys i'm t when i tell y'all i've wasted so much product i wasted so much product so much i forgot to mention spines is another i forgot to mention that spines was another big um big um spines was another big uh investment as well i ordered these i ordered black ones and they're 14 inches. I don't even use them. I'm trying to think of a cute uh, design so that I can use them. Right now, I'm using like, um, P uh, I think it's pronounced uh, Peter and, or Pewter, Pewter, I, I believe it's pronounced Pewter and Silver. Those are the two that I'm using, Silver for my notebooks and Pewter for my um, planners. So it has, it, y'all, it's not cheap. Would I recommend making them to to look as professional as someone in their in the factories that have the actual machines? It's a lot of hard work. I, I'll tell you that it is a lot of hard work, especially my dividers. It's so hard to find a vendor that can just do um, um, dividers like. There is none out there. They don't know what the heck you're talking about. And I'm like, how are you a paper printing company? And you don't know nothing about like the planners. Like, how do you not know? They want to put those, you know, old school tabs that you buy from like Office Depot or Walmart or something. And their Mylar comes in different colors. And I'm just like, do y'all not have just clear? Does it, can it look like this? Can my tabs be like this? They're not it's like a one-way shot with them this is what they have and that's it versus if you get it done overseas where they can be a little bit more detailed not even a little bit i meant to the t they can be detailed to to i meant yes to the t um they give you exactly what you want i am working my way on getting my things done overseas so then therefore i don't have to worry about making it i, I think it takes me um a couple of days maybe two to three days to make a planner just because it's so tedious with my cricket and my dividers if i can figure out another way then i wouldn't want to go with them i can just make them myself but just to take off that stress i might end up just paying them um to make them for me it's just when you're doing planners and you're starting off and you're small versus bigger companies um and you know just to name a few like um a cloth and paper i think the other one another one is called like ivy paper company and another one is called uh panda a uh, paper panda or something like that those are bigger companies and although i believe ivory paper kind of makes hers inside she got that down pat the other two may do outside you know sources to help you know make their things at such a large quantity and so when you're talking to these vendors overseas and their minimum is 300 i'm, I'm sorry three three or even 500 that is a lot that is a lot for one person because you're gonna have to think of a strategy i meant top now i meant wow strategy right to try to sell all of those planners within a short amount of time if they're dated the only way i could see that benefiting a small a startup a small small business like myself is if it's undated where you can keep it all year long and you can keep it for you know however long you need or whenever the last you know inventory sells out because it's undated so that i can see benefiting uh one but if it's dated and you have 2000 let's just say next year 2023 and you got 500 and you have and you're literally just 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 starting out meaning you don't have this big old youtube fan base right you don't have this big old i'm talking about the average average person not someone who has already built up their platform with vlogging and showing this and showing that and then decided oh i'm gonna open up no i'm not talking about those now that works out in your favor because you don't have to push your product just as hard because you already have that audience so that's great right but i'm talking to the person like me who none of my platforms are big they're not big right they're not big whatsoever 
and I have to work extra, extra hard in pushing out my product. So going, doing it overseas would not have benefited me whatsoever because I don't have that traffic, right? People don't know me. They don't trust me yet. So once I build that, once I get that, then yes, I will be going to um, uh, getting it done from a vendor overseas. The only thing, another thing is doing it overseas, the price of shipping is crazy. It's so crazy. I mean, it's just like some of them charge I think the lowest one I saw was like five, six hundred dollars just for shipping. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, you know what? Let me just figure out a way to do this handmade, handcrafted personally. Um, you know, and and you know, me and God got me and God, we're gonna we're gonna have to fix something out because I'm not paying nobody almost two hundred, I'm mean, two hundred, two grand, you know, for three hundred or five hundred. I just don't have it like that at this moment, right? To just split out and then have it just 500, you know, planners just all around. My apartment is a one bed, one bath. I Square footage is pretty tight. I just, I, I would have nowhere to house that. So what was best for me was handmade. Now, I wanted to jump into my chipboard that I use. I use 9.90 chipboard. That's the thickness of these chipboards and I um, was given this vendor by the class I took, so I will not be sharing that because I paid for that. But you can do your research. You can find someone local, chipboard, 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 right? That's basically what it's called. Or book boarding, I believe. They, that's another word. Basically, they use it for books. I wanted the thickness that they use for a hardback book. And um, I think I'm learning my lesson that my next so next year 2023 it won't be this thick like it won't be this thick this is this is pretty thick this is this is really thick it's like a it's like book now i may stay with it and just um try to i don't know i'm still playing around with ideas and i, I just honestly i don't even know i'm probably look i don't know i use sticker paper to do my covers and the backings and um, I buy those from online labels. I buy them from online labels. I do also my stickers. Now this one was from Office Depot just because when I went up there to print, I don't know what had happened. I think this is like when I first, first started um, because I can tell because when I used my Cricut, I was still learning um it cut through it so i had to kind of retry again and um so this is like one of the first ones i did <laughs> um but i'm i mean these stickers is still useful <laughs> okay and so i got it printed and i came home and cut it on my cricut and yeah so this was from office depot but i do have oh it came right out the bag eight and a half this is the gloss i believe this is gloss let me make oh no this is weatherproof this is my other sticker paper these are the backings of my planners it, the color is really light but it is two colors it's just a really 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 light yellowish type color and um yeah so i get these printed at my local printer and this is a sticker paper Online labels, they're 11 by 17, comes with the back end split, which is great because when I put it on my chipboard, and I'll show you an example real quick, I can put one, one side down, like line it up, put one side down, and then just back, back peel this, and then lay it down, and then just do my, my covers, right? So it does help me out um, a lot. I do plan on buying my own printer because I will tell you this. Printing, printing at a local printer, if I print a hundred sheets, I'm already at a hundred dollars. And this printer doesn't print 11 by 17. The, um, the size that it goes up to is eight and a half by 14. That's all it can print. So please, please, please do your research on the printers, like the best printer to buy at a reasonable cost. Another thing with my printer is it bends the pages when it comes out. So 
I'll give you another example with my sheet. So instead of it coming out, you know, like flat as it should, right? It comes out curvy. Uh oh. It comes out curvy. So it comes out and it makes this curve. And what I have to do every time is take these big clamps. I take these big clamps and I put them on the edge of the paper. So if I'm printing out my notebooks, I put them. I stack them all together, all 80 sheets, and I put them on a corner and I lay something heavy. And that's why I have to make it in advance. And I put like tons of books, like I have some books, just books, something heavy so that it will help flatten the paper, which I'm just like, who thought of making a printer to do that? So that is my fault. So, but I did try to print like um, 20 pound paper and it printed like a charm, it printed flat. But anything thicker than that, I'm gonna try 24, I haven't tried 24, but anything thicker than that is it will bend the paper. And I don't know if all printers do that, I just know that my printer does that, which I hate. So another thing also, I bought this and I use a credit. I think these cost 30 and I use a $10 credit. Like I watched a video and she said, get $10 off. And I'm just like, okay. So I paid, I believe I paid $20 for this roll of tape. And I'm not quite sure of how many feet it is. I'm, I'm honestly guys, maybe 300. I have no idea, but it was a little bit larger than this. And it's pretty good. I use my water bottle. I just use a regular water bottle. This is not Mrs. Meyer's cleaning spray. I finished it and just put water in it. It's just easier and I saved a couple bucks. Bought this from Sticker Mule. So yeah, and it's been, it's been good to me, it's been good. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much like the start of uh, running a stationary business. I'm thinking about coming out with more videos on like how to, but if you guys are interested, just let me know. I did have a follower of mine reach out to me about a month and a half ago asking for like sponsorships on, on teaching. And honestly, I don't think I'm the best person just because I've been I've only been in this game for like three and a half months or approaching three and a half months. So I don't think I'm the best, but what I can do is show you how I put my planners together and what goes into effect. And yeah, guys. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.